Hello everybody, this is Germ, and it is the first day of Battlefield 3 being officially released, which is a wonderful, 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 wonderful day. Uh, this is some Terran Highway, or Terran Highway, I'm honestly not sure how to pronounce that yet, but um, this is a Conquest map, as you can see, we are playing a little game of Conquest. This is not my first game or anything like that, I've played probably, I don't know, four or five hours at this point. Um, and I just want to kind of talk about how the first day of the game's release has been going and my impressions of how the game's running so far. Um, so this is actually, the game's been live for about 24 hours now, uh, by the time I record this. Not officially live in America, or North America, but, um, it was live. I'm sure a lot of you know there was a hack of sorts that would, uh, people figured out yesterday where they could use a Korean proxy to trick Origin into thinking the game had already released. And um, a friend of mine talked to uh, EA customer service and they said that was fine. Yeah, if you want to do that and unlock the game early, go ahead. So um, my clan, the War Clan, we unlocked it a little bit early and we played a lot yesterday and we're playing a lot today and we're going to play a lot this evening. Um, so now that it's been out for about 24 hours, I have to say it's not running very smoothly, but that's about what I expected. Um, I mean, it's running about as smoothly as any other major first-person shooter game does at launch, which is to say not very smooth at all. Man, uh, the last game I played that was fairly smooth at launch, that was a first-person shooter, uh, multiplayer at least, was the original Modern Warfare, and it still had some problems, but... Um, that's the first of this conquest, and then I'm going to have another conquest match right here, um, coming the other direction as Americans. And I've, I've edited these down just to show you some of the interesting parts. Um, but yeah, it's been, it's been running a little rough. There's been a lot of rubber banding, which you're going to see in this video. That's where like we're driving forward, and then all of a sudden uh, it places us back like 10 feet past where we were. It can happen when you're running, jumping, anything. Um, and that's just a server lag issue. There has been normal lag where you feel like you're shooting people but you're not hitting them. Um, there have not been many graphical glitches. I have to say the graphics are running very, very smoothly. I'm running everything on high right now um, with my 6870 and Phenom uh, 1090T. And it's running very, very smoothly. I could probably run on Ultra if I wasn't, or at least run like half the stuff on Ultra if I wasn't recording. That puts a lot more strain on the computer. So. Um, I would say it's running pretty smoothly right now as far as graphics are concerned, but lag and rubber banding have been kind of an issue. Other issues are the same stuff you had in the beta where you try to join a server and all of a sudden says it's full or you get a random error or uh, it starts loading you in and it drops you out. If you're with a party and you try to join together, there's this common error where it's saying you've already reserved a slot on this server, but it won't let you join the server and it won't let you leave and you have to restart origin and restart battle log so that's really really annoying um, the squad choosing a squad and spawning with a squad is not as smooth as I hope it's going to be after they patch it some uh, but it's working better than it was in the beta because you can actually see other squads now so that's really nice um, let's see what else I mean it's you know overall like now that I've said all that stuff I should say the game is really, really fun. I mean, it's been a blast. I've had a ton of fun wow. playing it. Um, as you can see, it is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, if you'd like to see what it looks like on all the quality settings, here is a link to a video I made a couple hours ago uh, talking about, or not talking about, just showing you the different quality settings. That is in glorious 1080p, so I encourage you to go watch that if you have not already. Um, but you can just see the lighting effects, the smoke effects, everything. The fire is just gorgeous. So DICE definitely knocked it out of the park on that. The hit registration is just as good as it was in the beta, if not better. Um, the damage model supposedly was changed that you had to put a few more rounds into people to kill them. But it doesn't feel like it really. I mean, it feels feels good. It feels better than Bad Company 2. I didn't really like the damage model in Bad Company 2, and this definitely feels like an improvement. Um, maybe a little bit different than the beta, but not enough of, uh, not enough different that, like, I'm not enjoying it or anything. Uh, the unlocks are going pretty smoothly. Um, my only complaint, and this is a complaint a lot of people have, is that with the jets, you don't unlock any uh, air-to-air -air missiles until you have taken out some stuff with just the gun. 
just in a machine gun, and that is actually going to be pretty hard to do. I've been floating around for quite a while just shooting at stuff, and I have not taken a whole lot out yet. I only have to take out three vehicles, I think, but that's proven to be harder than you might think. Um, and I actually, I think when I take out three vehicles, I just get flares. I don't think I get uh, air to air then. So, other than that, the other vehicle unlocks are going very well. I mean, they're, they seem to be pretty smoothly and fairly spaced apart. Um, and a lot of these complaints I've been talking about actually are not in the campaign. I should mention, I've played probably three hours of the campaign so far, and it's been running very smoothly. No big issues. Um, the AI doesn't seem to be really smart, but the story is reasonably enjoyable so far. The graphics are even more gorgeous than they are in multiplayer, and uh, I'm enjoying it a lot. Oops, didn't mean to run out of bounds there. Uh, so this map is winding down. You just saw some rubber banding right you know then. We absolutely crushed the uh, yeah. other team in this map. Uh, as we did in the match before this one. Um, everything's really unbalanced right now because you have people of very similar levels but very different skill levels. So the game hasn't done a real good job of balancing that out yet. So anyway guys, if you like this video, please favorite it. Please comment it. Please give me a like if you would. And I will see you later.